Hello, I'm with the North St. Louis Arts Council and my name is Mrs. Shannon and we are going to be learning how to create a documentary using five photographs. So what is a documentary? A documentary is a historical account of what may be going on in a particular time period. For instance, at this time in year 2020, you are doing school at home. So let's document that for history, and someday it will be very important that you were able to create this using five photographs and your school tablet. So let's get started. So your tablet has a kickstand in the back and as you can see here you can flap it in and flap it out. You also have a hand grip. To talk about the features that we have on this particular tablet. When the kickstand is activated the tablet slants upward. So that's important to notice once you get started trying to do your portraits. After you turn on your tablet and you slide up, you will see icons on the face of your screen. You want to look for this camera icon. And the camera icon activates the camera. So once I tap it, you see what the camera sees. Right now, what you're seeing is what is behind the camera. So let's talk about where the camera is located. The camera happens to be located right here. The camera can see forward and then it can also see backwards. The camera sees what's behind it. For instance, this stack of books. Right above a round circle, you have the reverse mode for your camera. Then I can get a view of what's straight ahead. In this case, it happens to be the wall and the camera I'm using to record this video. Pause for a moment, and now you go and try using your reverse mode and seeing what is in front and behind your camera lens at this time. Above the reverse camera mode, we have our timer. And our timer is going to be very important later when we wish to do self-portraits. Tap on the little clock icon in order to see your timer. You will see off, three seconds, and 10 seconds. Try both and see what happens. Now we will talk about using the tabletop for our selfie and as I place the camera down I'm going to hit my reverse mode so that the camera is facing me I've activated my three second timer And there you have it. It's really simple and you will have fun doing your own self-portraits using your timer and the kickstand on your tablet. An environmental is a photograph that tells the story of the things that are around you. So for this environmental, I have collected some things that I might 
use if I were working on a school project. I have my ruler and something that I use sometimes to distract me from being bored. Also in this jar I have markers that I may have to use if I am doing an art project. And then I have gathered some things in this basket. Scissors, glue, of course these are things for an art project and if I were doing a photography project I have my camera here, some tape, and because I am often wearing a mask I have actually put a mask in my bucket as part of my environmental. It is important that you think about things that you are using on a daily basis, things that interest you or things that are important to you. They may be your school supplies or materials or they may be things that you are using uh, for your art projects or something that is important to you. Gather those things up, at least three or four items, place them on a table, and arrange them in a way that they all have visibility in your photograph. You will be taking a photograph of your items as well as a self-portrait with your items using your timer. Since your kickstand will often point upwards, as you can see here, you can't see what's on the table unless it's tilted more in a straight up format. So for that reason, I have decided to use these books to help prop my camera up a little bit more in order to see my items. And I think I'm going to need a little bit taller books in order for this to work. But play around with it and if you have someone who can help you take the photograph, even better. And there you have it, doing a self-portrait using your 10-second timer and taking the photograph. Practice, and when you come back, we'll talk about using the 10-second timer to do a group photograph.